Uh, welcome to today's special webinar where we've invited Hamish Holmes, who is Dyslexia Scotland's Young Ambassador. He's a, an SFI pupil at Dunblane High School and we've got him to come along and talk about how he's using technology to support his dyslexia in the classroom. Okay, great. Oh, over to you, Hamish. Okay, Hamish. So, to you. so what I'm going to do now is just going to share my, my screen with you, okay, so we can we can see your, your iPad, because that's what you're going to be demonstrating. So we'll just do that just now, to share my screen. And uh, let's just get that. Okay. And I'll just bring your iPad up. We'll minimise this so it doesn't get in the road. And then we'll bring your iPad up. Okay, and we'll go full screen. Okay, over to you, Hamish. Thank you for coming today. Thanks. Thank you. Wonderful to be here. Uh, so I'm Hamish Holmes, and I've been using the iPad to support me since Primary 5, and I'm going to be showing some of the technology that I use to be an independent learner. So the first challenge in the classroom is if a teacher sends me a worksheet, because as you can see, Worksheets have a lot of text and require a lot of writing, so it's a lot of reading and writing to fill in a worksheet. So my solution to this, if a teacher set, uh, wants me to fill in a worksheet or workbook, is to get them to send me it digitally via either Google Classroom or Outlook, and then I can send it from those uh, uh, from those apps to my, a different app where I can edit it on. So if I go to Pages at the moment, so you're not just relying on one app, you've got yeah. two or three apps that you can use. That's, that's yeah. quite good. So it's like a toolkit of apps that you've got. Yeah, so I usually either use Pages if it's a Word document, like mm -hmm. this one was, yeah. or Cloud PDF if it's a PDF, and they allow me to do slightly different things. So as you can see, I've got the document here, and a, a several pages long document, and then I can fill it in. So. I can do the. I can uh, edit the document in several ways. So I can uh, create a text box by going to the add symbol and going onto text, and then this allows me just to type directly onto the document. So I can do the classic typing of just tapping button but this is quite slow I've have predictive text up the top to be able to calculate to be able to predict what I'm saying and make it quicker but it's still not the fastest so an alternative method to that is to use speech to text so if I press this microphone button in the bottom of my screen She sells seashells on the seashore. And that should load. It's usually much quicker than this. I think the Wi Fi and the connection is. Yeah, maybe give it another try, see yeah. how it goes. She sells seashells on the seashore. Not to worry. Can, can yeah. I just ask, if, if you didn't have that in electronic format, yeah. how difficult would that paper-based copy be for you to, to access? I'd find it very difficult because uh, I'm much slower with writing and because of my spelling, my writing is pretty much illegible. Mm -hmm. Let's try this one last time. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I mean, it's a slightly, it's a difficult situation because yeah. we've, we've got you here today and we're, you know, we're asking yeah. you just to sort of, you know, recording this session. But normally yeah. when you're in class or, you know, if you're doing homework, yeah. it just works seamlessly for yeah. you, doesn't it? So it's not a problem. So ideally you would just press that button yeah. and the text would come. Okay, yeah. great. Okay. That's, that's, that's good. Yeah. Um, so now the text speech, when it's working, I can do anything well on the iPad. So that's not something... Uh, special to this app that's something that I can do if I'm doing Google search or any other text document another thing that I can do anywhere on the web, web uh, iPad is if I select some text I can uh, make it speak it aloud to me 
So that w that's the speed I usually listen to things at, but I can slow the speed down either by going into settings or if I drag two fingers down from the top of the page it does full screen read and this will read everything that's on my screen but it also then give, it also gives me the option to change explain the stores and transfers of water that occur in a drainage bin it also allows me to change the speed of the reading of the text without having to go to settings so that's now at a more understandable System. speed interpretation of hydrograms. So I suppose you, you become so reliant on your listening to the text that you, yeah. you're able to speed it up and interpret it as it's going. Yes, yeah, it skills. means it's much quicker because often people don't like audiobooks or speech or text to speech because it, they find it slower than reading. Mm -hmm. But actually with this I can uh, listen to something much faster than most people can read it. Yeah, so you're actually with the electronic version yeah. on your iPad you're working at faster faster speed then than maybe some others would be. Yeah. yeah good. Um, with this app, of course, I can um, add in different shapes as you saw before, but I can also add in uh, graphs or uh, tables as well as adding photos, either the ones that I've taken previously or directly from my camera roll uh, or directly from the camera even. And what this means is if there's a board or so so something that rather than having to copy down off the board, I can just take a picture of it and uh, put the pi picture straight into my document. Um, so then the next challenge for uh, yeah, after worksheets is books. So if I'm uh, told to read like this chapter of this book, it's, um, it's obviously quite hard. So I listen to audiobooks, but the thing about audiobooks is Often not all the li they're not often not all audio libraries will have the same book, so it'll often take me longer to find a book. So that's why if you were going to be studying a text in class, I like pre-warning about what text it's going to be, and I would look at different libraries to see which is cheapest or if I can get it for free. So I'll play a clip at the speed I listen to books and to see if anyone can understand it. and then I'll play it at normal speed hopefully chapter one loomings call me Ishmael some years ago never mind how long precisely having little or no money in my purse and nothing particular to interest me on shore I thought I would sail about a little and see the Mm, so it's quite a difference. Do you yeah. have any sort of top sites or library sites that you go uh, to that you could pass on to others? Yeah, so I good? use Calibre Audio Library as my main library, mm -hmm. and it is a one-off payment of £35 for any pe anybody who's not able to read print text. Mm -hmm. And then once, you, once you've paid that payment, you have access to all the books on their library yeah. for the rest of your life, so yeah. it's probably uh, the library with the best deal. Mm -hmm. Um, then if they don't have that, my uh, there'd be a couple others I'd try. But the the Audible has pretty much every book. Yeah. You know, if it's not an Audible, you probably won't find it. So it's mm -hmm. a good one. Um, after you've tried sort of all the yeah. cheaper libraries, and it's not like ridiculously expensive anyway. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, Caliber Audio Library would be my first okay, uh, good to know. choice. Andy, thank you. Yeah. So then. Uh, so then I'm going to show some general things on the iPad. So the first, uh, I've already shown the full screen uh, full screen read. I'm going to show the reader bar. So that's these four lines that would be at the top of your search bar. In uh, newer iOS, I think it looks like two A's next to each other. So if I go on to the internet. So imagine if you have a web page and it's that there's a lot on it and it's quite yeah. cluttered. Do you use this just for making it the reading yeah. a bit simpler? I usually yeah. use it all the time because if we go onto the web page, it loads slowly. As you can see, the four lines have appeared on the top of my corner. If I press on them, it 
Uh, yeah, yeah, this. Better, yeah and this allows me yeah. to change the uh, background color, the font, and increase the size of the font. And then, of course, I can still use my. Uh... <laughs> that, that was ridiculous. I just can't get used yeah. to that voice. <laughs> Why does this voice gone high? I have no idea. I think it's just yeah. the way that it's going. But again, it's just one of those. Yeah. Things. Could I ask yeah. what, what does a page look like when when yeah. you haven't gone into? Would do it would uh, normally. Oh yes. yeah. So, so that's much more cluttered, it, and there? there's, there's adverts, adverts, and it's adverts, much yeah. harder to read. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the reader bar clears away all that, mm -hmm. and then allows me to change the font. Yeah. Um, another feature that I have on the iPad is. Uh, the math is you can download alternate keyboards. So I've downloaded the maths keyboard, and what this means is I can, uh, like, if I'm doing physics, I can put in Greek letters or something for the formula, or and the, or like uh, different math symbols. Uh, there's various different things I can do, and it means that if I'm typing something, it, I don't need to like try and go on the internet and copy and paste the symbol or anything. I've mm -hmm. got it. There and there's various different keyboards. Uh, you can get ones that have different colors, or you can get ones uh, that are like in. You can download all the different languages. Mm -hmm. Like so, you can have French keyboards that allow you to uh, put like accents on it. And the normal keyboard, if you hold a letter, you are able to put see all the different versions of that letter that uh, you might use. And you can select one of them. So, uh, good. yeah. Have you just discovered these things, trial and error, have you? Uh, yeah, and then mm -hmm. also watching webinars Web, yeah. and going to conferences, different mm -hmm. things show uh, off. Sure. Um, then the final thing I'm going to show is seeing AI, and then there's other similar apps like Cloud Scan Pen, and they all have their advantages and disadvantages. Uh, seeing AI is free and has other features because it's designed for blind people so it can also like recognize products or do currency and things okay, good. but mm -hmm. then uh, cloud scan pen doesn't need wi-fi so you know there's sort of drawbacks and yeah. uh, so you're just going to access your camera yeah. and you're going to scan a, a piece of paper right? yeah so if i go to short short text text i can look at a document and then University, Adardale, Scotland. Isn't it has the call to the not know that it's the the eighth apps at two thousand and thirteen? It has the eighth of apps to be in October for one hundred. This the apps for to be it's called over it. A L Scotland. So, so the short text is really designed to read like a single sentence or something. Mm -hmm. If I go Documents. to document, top and right edges not visible. And go to oh. edges visible. Oh, so it positions it as well. That's very good. Yeah, it helps you to position it. So. Hold steady. Processing. So this is good if you have a worksheet or something that they no longer have a digital copy of. It will then convert it. So that's all the text on the document. And then I can uh, read this. Body, font family, aerial, font size, 12 points. D word, C cube and style, grammy, for one out, we end note, take code, WW can attach an error, dark code, human and I can change the size of the font. Of for learners with dyslexia, reading them. Uh, uh, yeah. Writing difficulties to be produced since it was first launched in October 2013. Yeah, so as you can hmm. see, that's really accurate with yeah. what it's got. Yeah. And I can, I've played with the settings around with this, but again, you can change the voice speed and the voice that it's reading out mm -hmm. of. So this is a really good app for oh, this yeah. document. I mean, that that document was quite complicated. You yeah, know, circle and there's apps and things. But if you just had some like a piece yeah. of text, it would be good, wouldn't it? It would be really yeah. very good. It's a very good thing for menus or anything. Yeah. You can just download it on your phone yeah. and it's free and it's yeah. really quick to use. And I suppose learn. if you're out and about as well and you just have a quick look at you know on your phone, if you find yeah. it's not difficult to read, you it's quite good for that as yeah. well, isn't it? It's quite indiscreet. Yeah. and that's so where the short text yeah. option would be yeah. more useful. Um, so, yeah, I am. Yes, yeah, so these are various technologies that I use to be able to like edit worksheets or listen to books, and it and I find it has allowed me to become a completely independent learner. Mm -hmm. And many of the things I can do on my phone, so if I'm out and about, I can.
be completely independent. Yes. Yeah, so. Right. So um, you're in fifth year, did you say? Yeah. Are you doing hires or? Yeah, I'm doing standards? hires. You're, you're doing yeah. hires. Okay. How many hires are you, are you doing? I'm doing five hires. I'm doing geography, physics, engineering, maths, and English. Oh, that's quite impressive. And what yeah. did you do last year? Uh, last year I did Graphcom, Engineering Science, Maths, English, Geography, uh, Computing, and what have I not said? Geography. Quite a few. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah whatever, yeah. I did so seven hours. How do you think, yeah, you know, if you weren't, if you didn't have access to the iPad, you didn't have access to these digital resources, how different would it be for you now? Um, it would be very different because it, because I use it all the time, I use it in pretty much every class, and I just, and it allows me to access my work and do my work to the mm. same standard as everybody else. Yeah, I mean, I, I imagine, and I, I mean this in a nice way, yeah. there must be lots of Hamish's out yeah. there, you know, who are struggling. So if you had a message yeah. that you could give to teachers and to schools, what would that message be? Um, I would say before you exam, just try and experiment with as many different apps and as many different bits of technology as you can. So find whatever technology you like and just experiment with as much different things as you can and uh, go onto websites like the Call Scotland website or Dyslexia Unwrapped and go along to conferences to see what other people use and just pick up tips and learn mm. different yeah. things. And your messages to teachers and schools would be you know, try to encourage the use of iPads or laptops or, you know, whatever yeah, 100%. people are using to get the most of it. Yeah, because if yeah. you get have technology, you can, lots of it will go in your pocket and it's easy to carry around and it's not just restricted to the school environment because mm -hmm. once you've learned to use technology, you can use it at work or in uh, everyday life. It's much yeah. more versatile. For you personally, you've overcome lots of barriers, haven't you? Yeah. That's great. Thanks. Okay, so uh, what we'll do now is we'll just, uh, I'll just, let's just come off this and it will come up from the iPad as well. And we'll just go back to the, to the main part of the presentation, which is just here. And we'll stop sharing and we'll go back to the desktop, okay, here. Yeah. So, uh, well, I'd just like to say, Thank you very much, Hamish, for coming in. It's been really fascinating watching you. Uh, and Alan's here as well, as you heard at the introduction. Is there anything you'd like to say as well, Alan? Uh, I would really just like to say thank you very much to, to Hamish for coming along um, and letting us see how well he uses his technology. I just wrote, I was having a, a chat with Hamish's mother earlier on um, about a blog that I wrote recently uh, about um, somebody who'd had a slightly different experience at school, who'd, who'd sort of no, made no use of technology and just feel so sad for this other person who's gone through his entire school life without having access to te the technology that he needed to be able to access the curriculum and he's just had a, a reader and scribe doing all the work for him. So you can't go through life with a reader on your left shoulder and a scribe on your right shoulder. So thanks again mm. for coming, Hamish. It's yeah, been, thank it's you. Been really good. Yeah, so yeah. thank you. So. And uh, just uh, a quick thank you to Hamish's mum as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having <laughs> okay. Me. okay, thanks, Helen. Thanks, Hamish. Okay, That's great. Thanks. <laughs> bye. Bye. Yeah.